Hi all. The oyster mushroom expert is with you. I continue to talk about the yield of oyster mushrooms. This is a big topic. In previous videos we looked at the yield per bag and the impact of certain factors on the yield. Look for links in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. In today's video we will talk about the effect of some parameters of the mushroom block on the yield of oyster mushrooms. These are parameters such as the weight and size of the blocks, the number and size of perforations. There will be another video about the influence of microclimate on the yield of oyster mushrooms. Therefore, subscribe to my channel, there is a lot of interesting things here. So, let's begin. There is an opinion that blocks of smaller mass give a higher percentage of yield. I doubt it. But, if you have also heard this assumption and want to check it, conduct an experiment. Make, for example, 35 kg blocks, and the remaining 15 10 kg blocks. Label them with stickers of different colors. Record when Primordia appeared on these two batches of different weights. And then collect and weigh the mushrooms separately. You will calculate the percentage of yield and understand whether this assumption is correct. If you then write a comment here about the results of the experiment, I will be very grateful to you. By the way, there is another side to this issue, the size of the mushroom block. We must ensure good gas exchange. The mycelium grows and releases carbon dioxide and water vapor. These waste products must freely exit the bag through the perforations. Therefore, if the bag has a diameter of more than 22 cm, no matter what its weight, perforations must be made on both sides. If, for example, a block with a diameter of 30 cm is perforated on one side, the yield of oyster mushrooms will be lower than in exactly the same block, but with double-sided perforation. My opinion is that the most suitable diameter for blocks is from 15 cm to 23 cm. Blocks with a diameter of 15 to 17 cm are used when sterilizing the substrate. If you are processing with hot water or disinfecting raw materials with chemicals, it is most convenient to make blocks from 20 to 23 cm in diameter. If the blocks are rectangular, at least one of the sides must be 22 cm for good overgrowing of the substrate. Now I will talk about perforations. Neither the shape nor the number of perforations has a big impact on the yield. This is the case if they have an optimal open surface area, which is necessary for good gas exchange in a substrate that is overgrown with mycelium. If there are too many holes, the substrate will dry out, so the primordia will form small and may also dry out. If there are very few holes, the primordia can crawl under the film and suffocate there. How many holes are needed? I have an article on the website about perforations, a link to it is in the description under the video. It discusses this issue in detail. If there are many holes and they are small, a small bunch of oyster mushrooms is formed, 200-250 grams. But there are a lot of them. This is convenient for those mushroom growers who pack oyster mushrooms on a foam tray. If there are few holes, but they are long, the bunches can reach a weight of 500 grams to a kilogram. But then there will be three or four of them on each block. Sometimes clusters of more than one kilogram each grow. There may be only two of them on a block, since the mycelium spends all its energy feeding such large clusters. And the remaining holes will be empty and from these holes primordia will appear only on the second flush. In the next video I will talk about the effect of microclimate on the yield of oyster mushrooms. Bye everyone. Have a good day.